Le climat est toujours très tendu au Kenya où la well, police the vice president. Au gaz, la oh, the pro-opposition protesters in Nairobi and Kisumu were dispersed after police fired tear gas. They are against the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission who are organizing the new presidential election on October 26th. In the port city of Mombasa, a rally of about 500 supporters of the opposition camped at, at an election office quietly. Since September 1st, invalidation of President Uhuru Kenyatta re-election, there's been a bitter words, exchange of words between the ruling Jubilee and NASA. Kenyatta garnered 54.3% of the vote against 44.7% by his main rival, Raila Odinga. Martin Olu is a Kenyan political analyst. He joins us now uh, from, uh, he joins us now over the phone from Nairobi, Kenya. Good morning, Mr. Olu. Um, what do you make of the statement uh, from the International Group of uh, Envoys? Mr. Olu? What is happening in Kenya is of uh, great national and international interest. And so when the envoys, it actually signifies the seriousness with which uh, the world takes the Kenyan affairs. And for that reason, uh, it will have an impact. At some point, uh, one has to make a decision. And the decision is that we need to have an independent institution, uh, much as it has made mistakes, being in charge of the elections and having space to do so, rather than uh, having an institution that is embedded by demands from the left and demands from the right. What the diplomats are doing is ensuring that both sides are a bit want. Number one, they want to try and impress on the Jubilee side not to continue with the issue of the election laws amendments. Uh, two, they would like to dissuade opposition from insisting that there must be amendments in the IEDC. So as both of them can drop that, uh, there are deep positions, then we can proceed forward. However, the challenge here is on whether IEDC itself will try to be independent or will try to operate in such a manner that it's accountable. Um, earlier talks uh, between the IBC and uh, two parties, uh, the two parties in the country, the two leading parties, failed. And uh, renewed talks on Tuesday may also have failed, uh, going from what uh, we have heard uh, uh, from Odi Odinga's uh, camp uh, so far. Are NASA's uh, demands really feasible? I, I think what they're saying is that somebody needs to take responsibility. And uh, in this particular case, that responsibility must be borne by people who seem to have messed up the election. Now, that may not work now, but certainly it's a matter that will not go away. Well, looking at the current situation, do you still think that there will be election on October 26, Mr. Olu? My view is that uh, there will be elections, and that this party is really like really. And uh, Kenyans really require them to, to have the election. So I have no doubt that there will be elections. The IEC must therefore play a very high role in ensuring that this time round is fair and that no major arrive to the extent that they can lead to uh, again another amalgam. So the challenge is in IEC. I believe the players are going to agree. And once we agree, uh, the IEC will resolve and eventually elections will end.